Hello Saints, thank you once again for tuning in. It's a beautiful day and I decided that I would record a message outside. And also, I am so encouraged by the promises that the Lord has made to those who belong to Him. Now there are many professing Christians who are hypocrites. They are fakes, they are frauds, and they are liars, and they are no threat to the kingdom of the enemy. And therefore, they are not persecuted. They may be persecuted and taken advantage of in their own mind, but there is nothing going on with them because they are blinded like those who are in the world. You can hardly scarcely tell those who belong to Jesus because of those who profess to know him, but really they don't because they are liars. They are fakes, they are frauds, and they are hypocrites. And because they are that, they are no threat to the enemy. Those who are a threat to the enemy will suffer persecution. Those who want to live right will suffer persecution, and we have been promised this in the scripture. Beginning in 2 Timothy 3, 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Yes, all of us who will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. This is something that we have been promised from the Lord, and it is a promise that we have with great prospect. If you are being persecuted for preaching the truth, following the truth, and believing in the truth, count it as a blessing because the Lord sees all of these things that go on. As it tells us in Matthew 16, 24, then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That means that we will be persecuted Persecuted. And we need to deny ourselves and not take it personally because we know that the enemy hates Jesus. It has hated Jesus before it has hated us. And so therefore this promise being fulfilled when we are hated, we may be able to count it as a blessing because it proves and it demonstrates to us that we are living in such a way that it is approved before God our creator. It also tells us in John 15, 20, Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will also keep yours. Yes, those of us who preach, teach, and follow after and have a desire for the truth will be persecuted. Those who are not in the world, those who are not blinded by the enemy, who seek after truth and speak the truth, will be persecuted. But we are able to count this as a blessing because the Lord sees all things that happens. As it tells us also in 1 Peter 3, 12 to 14, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you, if ye be followers of that which is good? But, and if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. As it tells us in the scriptures, not to be afraid of those who would persecute us, not to be afraid of those who are in error that hate us, not to fear those who are in the world, but will be destroyed by God our Creator if they do not repent from the hateful stance that they have against Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. This is something that has been promised to us in the scriptures scriptures that we will suffer persecution but we are able to count it as joy even in my situation there are some of my brothers and sisters on Google Plus who are privy to what is going on I would encourage you to continue praying the will of the Lord over my life and this situation because in the end we know that we already have the victory because of what Jesus has done and completed on his cross at Calvary I want to be able to deny myself and pick up my cross daily. Sometimes it breaks my heart and my heart is broken for those who are so hateful against the truth. The scriptures have been around since the beginning of time and now people have the nerve to not believe it. People have the nerve to not want to trust it. People have the nerve to want to reject it. It is the only truth that we have in this world. It is the truth that we who have given ourselves over to Jesus and are his servants should follow. And in following those things, we we will be hated. This is a promise that comes from our Lord, and we can be sure that He is sure of all the promises that He has made to us. In John 17, 14, Jesus is speaking. He says, I gave them thy word, and the world hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Yes, brothers and sisters, we do not belong to the world, and therefore the world hates us. That's just like in some of my prior messages I had recorded, speaking 
of the Sodomite Prince and also speaking of Muhammad Ali who claimed and professed to be the greatest but he is dead now Jesus Christ is the greatest of all because he lives and now Muhammad Ali because of his rejection of Jesus Christ chances are and it is very great that he is now in hell in torments along with the sodomite prince who is now in hell in torments because neither one of them had professed to knowing jesus they did not open their mouths in such a way that we knew that they belonged to jesus when we are under persecution we must do those things that hezekiah took under to do when he was under attack by sennacherib the Syrian who wanted to destroy him. I'm going to turn to that passage and then we'll I believe that's beginning in verse 14 and how it says that This is what happened. Hezekiah was being threatened by Sennacherib the Syrian king and this king had opened his mouth and he said that he had destroyed many gods of many other countries But those gods that he supposedly had destroyed were no gods They were just wood or stone created and made by man's hands But Hezekiah when he was under great threat He turned himself to the Lord and he prayed earnestly for the will of the Lord to be over the situation And for the Lord to fight the battle because that is who fight our battles for us We cannot see those things that are going on in the spiritual world, but we do have the victory and we will suffer persecution and we are able to count it as joy sometimes it's difficult to smile and it is very hard to receive that persecution but deep inside your heart and you already know in your mind the promises that the Lord has made that those who will live a righteous life those who will do the right things will be hated they will be persecuted by this world in 2nd Kings verse chapter 19 beginning in verses 14 and Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messengers and read it and Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord and Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said O Lord God of Israel which dwelleth between the cherubim thou art the, that God even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth thou has made heaven and earth Lord bow down thine ear and hear open Lord thine eyes and see and hear the words of Sennacherib which have sent him to reproach the living God of a truth Lord the king of Assyria has destroyed the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into the fire but they were no gods but the work of men's hands wood and stone therefore they have destroyed them now therefore O Lord our God I beseech thee save thou us out of the hand that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God even thou only yes this is my prayer even in my situation I spread that situation open before the Lord I laid it open and bare and I said Lord you take control you have control you are the God of all kingdoms of the earth and you are the God of men's hearts and minds you are in control of all things Satan may be the God of this world but you are the God of all all things and you control all things and all things be exist because of you God our Creator and I thank you Lord for advance for hearing my prayer also for those who would hate me and would want to see me destroyed who would want to see me rejected who would want to see me crushed who may even want to see me killed but in this situation Lord I pray as Hezekiah has prayed that all of those in the world will see and know that you are God because of this situation we know that the world hate us because we are told this in the scripture and we are to feed and meditate and receive the scripture because it is only the truth that we have it is the only truth that we have it is the profound and it is the truth that comes to an end because all other truth takes no precedence over the truth of the scripture and what the Lord has said to us it is very nice and it is sunny out today just as the Lord is shining in my heart and has promised me that he will take care of this situation from those who might have or would won't have to destroy me there are those who I thought were Christians and they are just liars hypocrites fakes and frauds but they have their reward and the Lord will deal with them individually and separately and because I have been persecuted by those who I thought was on team Jesus 
it is an error on their part and they shall be the one that will pay for what they have done God has also said that he is the one that takes revenge he will repay it is not revenge that I want but I want to please the Lord in those things that I would do and I know that because I love Jesus and because I love his word and because I have determined that I'm going to do the work of an evangelist and I'm going to preach the word of God in season and out of season I know that I will be hated and it tells us in the scripture that this is what we must do because in this world you will be hated this is a promise that we have from Jesus Jesus has made this promise to us but in that promise we know that we can turn to the Lord and he will hear our prayers and he will save us and he will move according to his will and his divine foreknowledge because he is such a great God and he loves us so much what I want to do now is I'm going to read from the book of Psalm, Psalm 43, I believe it is. It is only a short psalm. It's only five verses long. And this is what the Lord has said to the nation of Israel. But this promise we can also apply to our own lives. Even though this wasn't written to us, all of the scripture has been written for an example to us. That we may know how to live and that we may see the examples of how God worked in the lives of those that have placed their trust in him. Psalm 43, judge me, O God, and please my cause against an ungodly nation oh deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man for thou art the God of my strength Wow why dost thou cast me off why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy he's asking oh send out thy light and thy truth let them lead me let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles then will I go unto the altar of God unto God my exceeding joy yea upon the harp will I praise thee O God my God why art thou cast down O my soul and why art thou disquieted within me hope in God for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God yes I pray this prayer and God is my advocate he is the one that supports me he is the one that upholds me he is the one that encourages me to do right and to continue doing right but those that hate me your hating did not work all of those who detest me that detestment of me does not work because I believe in and follow after Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior who is the God of all things and the God of all creation but those who are wicked angry is God with them every day and those who do not repent they will perish like those who are currently and presently in hell because of their rejection of God and his goodness that he has extended to us in Jesus Christ now I pray that this message will be an encouragement to those who are being persecuted and I mean those who are truly being persecuted because there are some who profess to be persecuted but they are probably being persecuted for the things and the stuff that they are so wanting and so lust chasing after but those who are chasing after the right things which is found in the scripture will be persecuted it makes me smile and it makes me jump with joy and it makes me also want to praise the Lord and make me say in my heart I have decided that I will follow Jesus no matter what happens and no matter what turns I may take or where the Lord will take me I will serve him all those those people who hate me will continue to hate me it will only encourage me to love the Lord more and more my messages are the truth and they hate the truth because they are men who love darkness rather than the light and because they love the darkness rather than the light they had their reward and because God sees all things he real reward to each man for their doing in this life now those of us who have placed our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ has just seen in Psalm 43 that it is God who pleads our case against an evil and wicked nation and yes this is how we are living in this world today when we can can live in a town city or nation where they are calling anal sex love which is filthy and nasty and detestable before God it shows that our nation and the people who live in it have gone sideways but there are a remnant of people 
who have turned their hearts to God and they are willing and ready to serve him. Even though the enemy has blasphemed the Lord and hates the Lord with all that he can hate, even with cruel hatred, they hate me and they hate those that want the truth. But our God is greater than those who are in the world and therefore he has victory because of the work that he has completed on the cross. Now I want those who are seeing this message to continue praying for me and to be encouraged that the Lord will return soon. We pray for and we look for his appearing and those who do that will be blessed when they are persecuted in this life. They will be blessed when they are hated. They will be blessed when they are talked about. They will be blessed when they are humiliated. They will be blessed when they are degraded. They will be blessed when they are killed even. They are blessed because they have suffered persecution. I do pray that the Lord will add a blessing with this message.